Now, in my last video, I talked about why omeprazole can be bad for you. However, in this video, I'm actually going to talk about why omeprazole can be good for you. Now, omeprazole belongs to a class of drugs known as the protein pump inhibitors. Now, the protein pump is in the lining of the soles of your stomach and it helps to produce acid that allows your stomach to digest the food. So what omeprazole does is that it blocks these protein pumps and reduces the amount of acid that your stomach produces. So therefore, omeprazole is quite useful in several conditions such as gastritis, which is inflammation of the lining of your stomach. It helps to reduce acid reflux. It's also one of the drugs that's taken alongside other antibiotics to treat bacterial infections that affect your stomach, such as Helicobacter pylori. Omeprazole has also shown to reduce the incidence of esophageal cancer. Omeprazole is also taken alongside other drugs like aspirin and clopidogrel, which are heart medications that can also affect the lining of your stomach and cause acidity and bleeding from your stomach. You can actually buy omeprazole as an over-the-counter medication. It also has another name called Losec, which comes in a 20 milligram dose. There is another form of omeprazole called Nexium, also known as isomeprazole, which also comes as a 20 milligram dose. However, this acts in the same way as omeprazole does by binding to the protein pumps and reducing the amount of stomach acid secretion. In terms of taking omeprazole, it's usually taken as a 20 milligram dose daily for at least two to four weeks. If, however, your symptoms are ongoing, you can take omeprazole for another four weeks. However, it is advised not to take omeprazole for more than two to three months without consulting with your doctor. If you do have severe symptoms of acidity, either heartburn, nausea, vomiting, stomach ulcer, gastritis, or any of these conditions, your doctor might give you a higher dose of omeprazole in the form of 40 milligrams, which you can either take as a 40 milligram capsule or you could take 20 milligrams, one in the morning, one in the evening, and this is usually taken for about a month. After a month, your doctor might want to stop the omeprazole, or they might put you on a 20 milligram dose omeprazole to be taken once daily for another month and then stop. In some cases, omeprazole is actually given as an 80 milligram dose. This is a common practice among cardiologists, especially when you're started on heart medications like aspirin and clopidogrel, and this is because these medications can have a detrimental effect on the lining of your stomach. Apart from omeprazole being given to adults, omeprazole can also be given to young children, especially babies who have symptoms of acid reflux. However, this is not a first-line medication and is usually given if other medications has been tried and they're not working. Omeprazole can also be used for pregnant women who are having symptoms of acid reflux and heartburn. Similar to babies, this is also not a first-line medication. So before you take omeprazole, if you're pregnant, speak to your doctor first. Now, if you're taking omeprazole and your medication is not working after about a month or two, your doctor might want to refer you for other investigations, such as having a stool test to check for infections like Helicobacter pylori. Your doctor might want to do an abdominal ultrasound scan to make sure that you haven't got a condition called gallstones that can also mimic symptoms of indigestion and acid reflux. Your doctor would also want to send you for an endoscopy. Now, this is a camera test that usually involves putting a flexible tube through your mouth and looks into your gut to check out any other symptoms such as gastritis and in some cases a biopsy is usually taken to look for any abnormal cells such as stomach cancer. In terms of the long-term side effects of omeprazole, if you check out my previous video, we spoke about omeprazole causing vitamin B12 deficiency where you can get symptoms of numbness of your hands and feet, fatigue, feeling weak and in some cases you might have memory loss. Omeprazole can also cause bone loss, whereby it reduces your bone density in a condition known as osteoporosis. Omeprazole can encourage the growth of bad bacteria by reducing stomach acidity, so therefore you might have bacteria like E. coli, Salmonella and C. difficile, which can result in symptoms of nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Omeprazole is also thought to mask the early symptoms of stomach cancer, and in some cases, this can lead to a delayed diagnosis of stomach cancer. There are other several side effects that I've not mentioned, such as low magnesium levels, which can result in seizures, cramps, and irritability. And omeprazole has also shown to be associated with symptoms of lupus. In terms of short-term side effects, the most common side effects tend to be nausea, vomiting, headaches, and dizziness. So if you're having any of the side effects, it's very important you speak to your doctor. So in a nutshell, omeprazole is a good medication to take on a short-term basis as it helps with symptoms of acid reflux and indigestion. However, on a long-term basis, there are side effects and you need to consult with your doctor. Please check out my other videos where I talk about digestive health and I cover areas such as indigestion, omeprazole and stomach cancer. If you like this video and for other health videos, please subscribe to my channel.